Welcome to video 2 for this unit on introducing proportional relationships. In this video, we're going to focus on representing proportional relationships with equations. This table shows the amount of red paint and blue paint needed to make a certain shade of purple paint called Venusian sunset. Notice that the paint is being measured in parts. This means they can be any unit of volume. For example, if we mix 3 cups of red paint with 12 cups of blue paint, we will get the same shade as if we mix 3 teaspoons of red paint with 12 teaspoons of blue paint. The last row in the table says that if we know the amount of red paint needed, R, we can always multiply it by 4 to find the amount of blue paint needed to mix with it to make a Venusian sunset. We can say this more concisely with the equation B equals 4R. So the amount of blue paint is proportional to the amount of red paint and the constant of proportionality is 4. We can also look at this relationship the other way around. Now the blue paint is in the first column and the red paint is in the second column. If we know the amount of blue paint needed, B, we can always multiply it by 1 fourth to find the amount of red paint needed to mix with it to make Venusian sunset. So, R equals 1 fourth B. The amount of red paint is proportional to the amount of blue paint and the constant of proportionality is 1 fourth. In general, whenever there is a proportional relationship we can write an equation of the form y equals kx. x and y represent the quantities in the situation, whatever they are. The equation tells us that y is proportional to x. We can always multiply x by the same number k to get y. The constant of proportionality is k. Let's take a look at another example. If Kieran rides his bike at a constant rate of 10 miles per hour, then his distance in miles, d, is proportional to t, the number of hours that he rides. We can write the equation d equals 10t to represent the situation. The constant of proportionality is 10. With this equation, it is easy to find the distance Kieran rode when we know how long it took because we can just multiply the time by 10. For example, if Kieran rode his bike for two hours, how far did he go? Substituting two in for t, we get d equals 10 times 2. So the distance is 20 miles. But what if we know the distance Kieran rode and we would like to find out how much time it took him? Starting with the original equation, we can multiply each side by 1 tenth. This gets the equivalent equation 1 tenth d equals t. This is the same as t equals 1 tenth d. This new equation tells us that the amount of time he rode, t, is proportional to d, the distance he traveled, and the constant of proportionality is 1 tenth. This form of the equation is easier to use when we know the distance and want to find out how much time it took. 
because we can just multiply the distance by one tenth. For example, if Kieran biked 15 miles, how long did it take him? Substituting 15 for d, we get t equals 1 tenth times 15. So the time it took is 1.5 hours. In general, when two quantities, x and y, are in a proportional relationship, we can write the equation y equals kx and say y is proportional to x. In this case, the number k is the constant of proportionality. We can also write the equation x equals 1 over ky and say x is proportional to y. In this case, the number 1 over k is the constant of proportionality. Each equation can be useful depending on the information we have and the quantity we are trying to figure out. Sometimes writing an equation is the easiest way to solve a problem about a proportional relationship. For example, Denali is the highest mountain peak in North America. It is 20,310 feet above sea level. How many miles is that? There are 5,280 feet in one mile. This relationship can be represented by the equation F equals 5,280m, where F represents a distance measured in feet and m represents the same distance measured in miles. Since we know Denali is 20,310 feet above sea level, we can write 20,310 equals 5,280 m. So m equals 20,310 over 5,280, which is approximately 3.85. This means that the peak of Denali is about 3.85 miles above sea level. Thank you for watching video 2 of 4 for this unit on introducing proportional relationships.